How's it going everyone? My name is Boone and today I'm going to be talking about a few different tools and resources you can use that are going to help you create maps inside of Adobe After Effects. And if you have any favorites, please let me know in the comments section and if you think I left some cool tool out, please as well share that with me in the comments section. So the first plugin is certainly the most popular and it's 100% free. Video Copilot's Orb is the most ultimate 3D sphere plugin for Adobe After Effects. It allows users to create incredibly realistic spheres via a physical based shader. Create realistic textures with environment reflection maps, motion blur, and advanced UV settings. Add atmosphere and shift from day to night with advanced illumination effects. Orb works with the default 3D cameras inside of After Effects, and as you'll see later in the video, it's also used in other plugins. Now in my opinion, the learning curve for this plugin is a bit steep, so you'll need to know your way around After Effects and the wonderful world of 3D as well. This is another free option, and it's one of my personal favorites. Google Earth Studio is a browser-based animation tool that allows users to create and export custom Google Earth animations. The animations are rendered out as image sequences, which you can easily bring into Adobe After Effects or Premiere Pro as a clip file. The real power of Google Earth Studio is how you can export 3D data for After Effects via a script file, which includes track points and the camera data. Simply run the script file in Adobe After Effects, which will create the comp, import the image sequence, and set up the animated 3D camera with the track point data. You'll have a null layer as well as a text element. I have a ton of tutorials on Google Earth Studio, so just go check out my playlist called Monday Maps to see more of those. FreeVectorMaps.com is a really great resource, and as the name implies, the website provides a plethora of vector maps available for download. You can get them as Illustrator files, EPS, PDF, PNG, and JPEG formats. To use a map for free, you simply need to provide the necessary attribution in your project, or you can pay a small fee, and I mean really small fee, most of these are about three US dollars, and then you can use it without the attribution. What I like to do is bring these vectors into Adobe After Effects and then convert them to shape layers. This really opens up a lot of options when you're animating these elements. The Ultimate Earth Zoom Toolkit is one of the most popular map-related tools you'll find in the Envato Marketplace. One of the reasons for this is it's an extremely easy tool to use. According to the creator, even a four-year-old can create amazing-looking, totally personalized videos. With 120-plus pre-animated elements that all have sync sound effects, by the way, users have a ton of customization options. These pre-animated elements include titles, media holders, info boxes, callouts, markers, pointers, signals, map signs, as well as a handful of icons. Map Route Generator is an After Effects template project that comes with a script as well. And just like the previous tool, the workflow is really simple. It's very user-friendly. Simply import your map and then use the script to add your locator and place them in the correct positions. Once you've got all those locators in place, select them all and select Create Path. The script will allow you to control the entire animation. You can set the duration of the animation, decide if you want to stop on a point. It has different animation options. You can have follow path, rotate around the tracker, or free camera mode. You can specify the distance and the altitude of the camera, as well as a handful of other design elements. I have a standalone tutorial for this one, so be sure to follow that link in the video description to check out more. Now if you like Map Route Connector, you're going to love this tool. That's because it's from the same creator. And this is the same deal. It's an After Effects template project that comes with a script file. Now this particular plugin works in conjunction with Video Copilot's Orb, so you don't need to bring your own map like you do with Map Route Generator. It's really simple to use, just plug in your locations and add points, and then simply hit the Create Connection button. I can customize the style of the locator pins, as well as the path. I can also customize different aspects of the earth, including the clouds, I can change it from day to night, I can add some haze. There's also entirely different styles of maps, including realistic, old map, watercolor, dotted, and vector. Another really cool option is you can highlight up to 181 countries and even the 50 individual United States. So last but not least is the GeoLayers plugin. This is really in its own individual category. You're gonna see a huge jump in price here, and that's because the things that you can do with this particular plugin are pretty vast. It's almost pretty much anything that you would ever wanna do with an animated map, you can probably do it inside of GeoLayers. What this plugin allows you to do is search the internet and pull geospatial data and basically turn those into elements to drive your animations. I can animate in 3D space, I can extrude 3D buildings, there's a ton of different map styling options, I can do really in-depth data-driven and data visualization projects, and in conjunction with a few other plugins like Trapcode Mirror 3, Metal Freeform Pro, or Rawbyte Plexus, I can create these awesome 3D landscapes. 
and it's really as simple as just one click within the plugin. Again, this is really in its own category and I have uh, quite a few standalone tutorials that I've done on my channel, so follow those links in the video description. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you'll receive the updates. And again, let me know in the comments section what were your favorite items on the list, and if you think I left something out, please share that with me.